Hello grade 8. Today we are going to solve our revision sheet. So grade 8, we are going to solve revision sheet for chapter 7. Okay? So let's start solving. This is the question number 1. Let's go and solve the fir our first question here. We have two parallel lines and one line intersect it. So what we will do, we have four angles between them, four up and four down. Let's find the missing angles in all. Starting with angle 7, angle 7 will equal 80. Why it's, why it's equal 80? Why 80? Because here, this 80 and 7, they are vertex together. We have like x, you remember x? So 80 equals 7, 5 equals 8. 2 equals 3 and 1 equals 4 because it's make X shape, okay? So, angle 7 will equals 80. Angle 8 equals what? You can see here, what is the angle here? What is the angle we have here? It's a straight angle, straight angle. What is straight angle equals? 180. We have 80, so how many remaining? 100 so the second angle and the second angle will equals 180 minus 80 and this will equals 100 let's go to the angle 3 angle 3 here what is the equal of angle 3 you can see z shape here z shape like this so 3 equals 80 3 equals 80 so 3 equals 80 and 4 4 and 3 make together straight angle right supplementary angles so 3 plus 4 equal 180 I have 80 so how many re remaining 100 uh, to find the following okay I need a line. What's mean of line? Do you remember what's mean of line? Who remember what's what's line? What is line? Line. It's a line. Doesn't have end. Doesn't have start. And it has arrow in arrow in the both sides. Like what here? What's here is a line. We have, we have A, B is a line, A, B is a line, can you see A, B, A, B, is that a line, no, A, C, a line, no, so what we have a line, A, D, A, D is a line, excellent, okay, and C, F, C, F, D F D F All of those are lines because it has arrow here so that means it doesn't have start or end. Okay. What is array? What is array? Ray has start but no end. Has start but no end. Let's see. Like what? Can you see this? This one is array. This one has a start but no end. Okay. So here ray has start but no end. Like what? Like A D and D A. Okay. What else? C F and F C of course D F D F and F D what else do we have more this ray this ray this is ray this is ray this is ray and this is ray do we have more rays no only this 
Okay, we need to draw up of them array. We need to draw up of them array like this for each one. Is that clear? Okay. And the line we need also to draw line above each one. We need to draw line. I will put space so it will be clear for you to see a line up. Now line segment. Line segment. What is line segment? Now line segment. What is line segment? Line segment has a start and has end like A C. A C it's a line segment and cannot be line. B E also it's a line segment and cannot be line. Only line segment will be. But also A D if I took this part only from that line it will be also a line A D C F D F okay so now what is different between line and line segment line doesn't have a start doesn't have end but line segment has start and has end line can be line segment so what is the difference how can I make what is the difference between line and line segment I have to put up of the line a line segment like this I have to draw line segment on the letters here I'm drawing line here I'm drawing line segment above the letter I need parallel lines parallel lines what is parallel it means two lines never met together never met together like AD and CF like AD and BE like BE and CF AC and DF all of all of these are parallel so we need to write the lines that are lines that parallel AD and CF make sure all the letter you are writing is capital. All the letter is capital. A D and C F. A D and B E. A C and D F. Per particular lines, per particular lines mean it's make a 90 degree angle like here. So AD is per particular with DF. So here we have per particular line is AD and DF. CF and DF. What else? AC and DF. Okay, we have more. Intersecting line, it's mean line, mean two lines are meet in one point, like AD and DF. B E and D F C C F and D F okay they are meet in a point now let's go to the our second question I want to know here the kind of angle in the figure what is the kind of angle I mean acute angle what's acute angle it's angle smaller than 90 angle smaller than 90 like what? Like A, D, C, right? Like D, F, E, like F, D, C. So these three are acute angles. So we have A, D, 
A, D, C. We have F, D, C. We have G, F, E. Huge angle. Okay, up to this angle is angle more than 180. More than 180. Like what? Here, A, G, and I will assume this is Y. So, A, G, Y. Or Y, G, F. It's acute angle. Okay? It's obtuse angle. Sorry. It's obtuse angle. A, G, Y, and Y, G, F. I will assume that we have Y here. Okay? I will assume that we have Y here. So, it will be A, G, Y, Y, G, F. It will be Y, G, A, Y, G, F. Okay? Right angle. I need the right angle. A, C, G, A, C, B, E, C, D, E, C, B. So here it will be A, C, B, and so here we have A, C, B, and A, C, D, and E, C, B, also E, C, D. Okay, straight angle, straight angle. D, C, B. This is a straight angle. Straight angle. Straight angle is angle with 180. So, straight angle. Straight angle is B, C, D. And it will be B, C, D. Up or down. Okay? So now let's go to the second question here. Determine the value of A. I want to find A. I want to find A. How we can find A? The fourth angle is 88. So I will take 58 from 88 with all 88. The blue one is 58. So the green one will be what? 88 minus 58. So it will be 30. So here will be 30. 88 minus 58 is 30. What is the second one? We have the, one, the full one is 125. I will remove from it 36. So 125 minus 36 will equal 125 minus 36 will equal 89. So now you understand the concept, you can complete the question. Let's see here, let's see the second one. We have here, we have here, complementary angle of 59. What's mean of complementary angle? Complementary angle means angle with 90 degree. So I have 59. Let's see here, complementary angle, what's the complementary angle? It's angle, two angles, if you add together, it will give you 90. So I have 50, first one, I have 59 minus 90, it will be 31. It will be 31 here. What's the mean of complementary? What's the mean of complementary? So 90 minus 59 this will equal this will equal 31 degree okay next for this complementary angle for 40 it will be 90 minus 40 this will equal 50 so now you will complete the answers. Next one, use parallel or perpendicular or intersecting for the figure. We said two, two lines like this never met is parallel. 
This angle is intersecting. Do we have per particular angle, a per particular line here? Do we have per particular line? This is per particular line. So only this is per particular line, but this is parallel, parallel, parallel one, parallel intersecting. Okay, so now you can complete by yourself. I need to find the value A of set of complementary angles. Here, what's mean of complementary angles? Angles that 90. Two angles together equals 90. Here I have 34, so the remaining will be what? I will do, I will do, I will take 90 minus 34. This will equal 56. So this will equal 56 degrees okay so I'm taking 90 minus 34 here I will take 90 minus 39 okay here 90 minus 65 90 minus 31 and so on okay this is complementary angle we have here supplementary angle so this is equal the two angles here equals what here the two here, the two angles will equal 180. Here, the two angles will equal 180. So, 180 minus 50, this will equal 180 minus 50 will equal 130. Okay, how about here, what we will do, it will be 180 minus 142, here, 180 minus 92, 180 minus 80, 180 minus 132, okay. What we have in next question, what we have in next, next we have, tell whether each shape is a polygon, if so, Give its name and tell whether it appear to be regular or not regular. So let's understand each one separate. What's mean of polygon? We said polygon shapes, it's all the shapes straight has a straight side and the close. If it's open shape, it's not polygon. If I have curved shape like this one, can you see this curve? So this one it's not a polygon so this one it's not a polygon here this shape it's not a polygon let's put X on it so this shape it's not a polygon because it has curved side it has curved side okay so all of them are polygon what is the name of the polygon now we said if it's a four sides one two three four one two three four so it's quite that row okay and if it's five one two three four five so what is the name of this one it's a five so what's the name of it pentagon excellent okay here how many here one two three four five six so what is the name of the six okay go study the names and complete solving it excellent Okay, what is the regular? What's mean of regular or not regular figures? Regular means that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. That means of regular. So you need to solve it after you finish. Send it to me to check. Okay, let's go to the next question. I want to classify the ang uh, that tri these triangles according to sides and angles we said before that each triangle has two names each triangle has two names one according to sides one according to angle let's see the first one so the first one here we have two equals side so it's a name isocells and all the angles are acute angles smaller than 90 so it's acute acute triangle let's go to the second one here we have right angle so it's right triangle and all the sides not equal so it's scaling triangle here this one we have one angle more than 90 
so we call it acute triangle and all the sides not equal so it's a scalene triangle here we have this one we have here all the sides are equal so equilateral triangle and all the angles are smaller than 90 so it's acute triangle if I want to classify and I have only the measure of the angle 70 50 and 60 so all here all the angles are uh, smaller than 90 so this triangle is acute triangle okay so here this one is acute triangle here we have one angle more we have here one angle more than 90 so this one will be obtuse triangle obtuse triangle here we have one angle right angle so this one it's right triangle okay now let's go to the polygons I want the measure of each entire angle in a regular hexagon we said hexagon hexagon is how many sides in hexagon how many sides in hexagon how many sides in hexagon six sides so we will take six so we will take six minus two this equals four and we will take four multiply 180 so I will have 4 multiply 180 I will have what 700 20 720 okay sorry 720 okay this is the measure of all the angles inside hexagon. I want one angle only and it's a regular hexagon. What's mean of regular? Regular mean all the angles are equal. So I will take 720 and divide it by 6. This will equal 120. I will take it divided by divided by 6. This will equal 100. Same I will do with the pentagon. Pentagon is 5. So 5 minus 2. And re the result multiply 180 and then divide it by 5. That's clear for now. Let's go to the second question here. I, want, I will draw image for rectangle and I have here the side of the rectangle. I will draw rectangle A, B, C, D and the side of the rectangle here I have it so after drawing it I want to make reflection across y axis we said to make refraction of reflection across y axis what we will do we will change the, the sign of the x we will change the signs of the x a will equal what a will equal here a will equal we will change the signs of the x so it will be 4 and 3 then b the new b will be positive 1 and 3 okay. the new c will be positive 1 and negative 1 we changing only the x side changing only the x d will be positive 4 and negative 1 okay if I make reflection across x axis what I will do here in x what I will do in x axis I will change the sign of the y axis I will change the sign of the y so here I will add negative here I will add negative here I will add negative here I will remove 
the negative here I will remove the negative so I change I sign I change Y sign okay I change Y sign now I want to make translation three units up three units up three units up and down we will change in Y up and down we will change in Y so we will take the sign we will take here and we will add three to the up mean add down mean minus so we will add three units here three plus three equals six three plus three equals six negative one plus three negative one positive three will be negative two negative one positive three will be negative two Okay, sorry positive two negative one positive three will be positive two okay and here we will take this one and we will change the sign for the y because we are working on the you want to make reflection on x axis so we will change the sign for the y only Okay, now rotation 180 around 0, rotation 180 around 0 0.00. 0. Here, to make rotation 180 around the 0, we will change the sign for x and y. We will change the sign for x and for y. We will change the sign for x and for y like this we are changing the sign okay now you will you need to draw the a b c d here the original and then you will draw another four image for it after each at the end of the sheet i give you hint about each equation i explain each equation you need to go and complete solving the revision sheet by yourself. After you finish it, upload it to me on the Facebook. I will correct for you and later I will send you the answer key. Thank you.